This episode is sponsored by Clean My Mac. It's the only Mac app to help you control and maintain your computer. In high school, Andrew was the Mac guy, but he passed that love down to me. Now, I make him watch every Apple keynote with me like I'm dragging my daddy to see Santa Claus at the mall. It is really so important that you take care of your Mac so that it lasts you a long time, doesn't slow down, and all your data stays safe. This goes not only for the computer you've had since college, but for the new Mac you just got for your birthday. I'm on my Mac every single day doing important business things like reading reading emails and watching people talk about sports. You know what else I do every day on my Mac? I clean my Mac with their smart scan feature. I can get my computer in good shape with just one button. It does clean up, speed up, and removes malware. In as little as two minutes, it can polish up the slowest of Macs. Before you start your next big project or head out on vacation, you should do a quick clean of your Mac to keep it running smooth. No crashing here. So the next time that computer freezes just as you're saving a document, be a professional and get clean my Mac before any damage is done. They even have a seven day free trial. Link in the description, go Bills. Hello. It's Football Fusion, episode two of the second season. Today we'll be tackling something sweet. Just with my sweet boys. Only sweet boys today. Sweet boys only day. It's a boys only day here at the sweet BCU. Boys only. Boys only, so we're keeping it extra sweet. Sour boys, get out. If you're a sour boy, leave now. Hey, we love Kendall, don't get me wrong. But she's ill. The Green Bay Packers. As you know, I have an affinity for this team as they are the only fan-owned team, a model that will guarantee small markets can keep their teams in this increasingly oppressive capitalist hell. The Green Bay Packers are from Wisconsin, of course, and they're known for many a thing, many a culinary delight. The one we will be tackling today is the Kringle. Kringles are a pastry, and we're going to fill them with peaches for the Atlanta Falcons. So this is more of a culinary episode. This isn't so much of the two great juggernauts of football clashing primetime game, big, big markets. You know, this is the Green Bay Packers who are probably in a transition year, let's be honest. And the Atlanta Falcons who seem to be perennially transitioning into nothing for generations, right? When was the last good Falcons team? When they lost the Patriots in the Super Bowl. Oh yeah. That. Week two, Packers, Falcons, Kringle, peaches. We're gonna make a peach cream Kringle. It's a delicious pastry for these three delicious boys just hanging out together, making sweet pastries. First things first, Kringles don't just grow on trees. What a world that would be. No, you have to make them out of dough. This dough is made by combining 250 grams of all-purpose flour and a teeny tiny pinch of salt. And mixing that dust together is what I'm attempting to do here. As soon as I get this thing, uh oh, all right, I get it, you twist it around, get it on there. Oh, here, here it comes. Okay, okay, how'd we leave all this in? There it is, boom. Easy. Once the flour has some salt in it, toss in some cubed and chilled butter, about two sticks worth. Mix that butter in real nice. You want those cubes of butter to become tiny peas of butter. Then you throw in the secret ingredient, sour cream. Sour cream on a sweet boy day? I know, but just do it. Mix it all up until you get a homogenous dough. This shall be the clay with which we sculpt our Kringle masterpiece. Here's a hot tip. Throw some of that all-purpose flour on your work surface before you start shaping your dough. It'll make things a lot less sticky. I'm making Kringles with my pal Andrew. Steve is here too, but he can't join us. He would make the camera all doughy and dusty. So I'm going to split my dough into two equal portions, one for me and one for Andrew. Dough is a little easier to roll out after it's been chilled in the fridge. So I'm flattening these into discs and wrapping them in plastic. They'll sit in the fridge for a few hours. In the meantime, we can make our filling. Start by chopping up some peaches into thin slices. The slicing three peaches ended up taking me over 10 minutes. So we'll speed up the footage for you. This is over 2000 times the speed and it still takes a little too long. Once you've got a pile of sliced peach, combine some sugar and some cornstarch and mix it all up, tiny whisk style. I guess that style too, huh? swirling. And I'm going to go off script a little bit here and add my favorite ingredient, cinnamon. Add those peaches to that bowl of powder and put it to the side. Now it's time to make some goo. 
In the bowl of a stand mixer, combine cream cheese and powdered sugar. Now let that paddle whack the goo around until it becomes well combined. And then throw some vanilla extract, a teensy bit of salt, and the yolk of your favorite egg into the bowl. And then just let her rip until everything is all mixed up. And with that, the filling is done. And we just need something to fill. I mean, <laughs> no, sorry. We're rolling it out into a rectangle of a certain size. Uh, normally, Kendall's stay over here. Kendall. Where's the ruler? Here it is. I'm just gonna keep rolling until you tell me to stop. Oh, stop, 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 Jesus. He told, he told me to stop. I didn't, <laughs> didn't tell you to I keep ruined, going. I ruined it. All right, 10 by 12 inch rectangle, all right? <laughs> <laughs> this is working. I know it's working. Doesn't make it any less funny. Okay, that's, no, that looks great. So use this opportunity to get a little flour under there. Lift it up. Why does so many fingernail marks in it? I don't so know. How did you get so many <laughs> what the? F okay. <laughs> like, a ver like a vermin. <laughs> like a vermin padded this out. Wait, this is hard. Arrange the dough. Uh, Kendall said it was easy. You tried it. She promised us. Aha! Then she fell ill. There's the more. It's like they're appearing. I'm not doing it. It's probably like this. Oh, you know what I bet? What? What you bet? It's the watch. <gasps> it's the watch. Thank God. That watch is not it's built. Not like my. Yeah, not your claws. Creepy claws. Just, yeah. yeah. Things like cat claws in my hands. Probably seems right. Yeah. I think I'm doing the right thing. Just, and not cutting, you're not cutting. I just made marks, see this? What? Marks, these are just marks. You just did marks? I just did marks. That's insanely hard. Okay, lightly, here's good. I did it with a ruler, you can do it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. what is this go. even doing out? It, to mark? No, 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 I mean, oh, I guess you could do that, couldn't you? <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. Good, good. Oh, easy, good. easy as, uh, easy, as did easy as a Kringle. He only did one for me, that was smart. Easy as a Kringle. So I could do the steady rest goes, Steady goes the Kringle. Steady, Steady as she cringles. Cringle. <laughs> Steady as she cringles. Steady as she cringles, fellas. And our next tune. Steady, Steady as, as she cringles. cringles by the Kringle Boys. The World War II. <laughs> uh, well, the song that got us through World War II. Morale boosting tune. <laughs> Steady as she cringles. Steady as she cringles. Steady as she... <laughs> Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> I'm just gonna. Cool. I did a bad job. Not my fault then. Nope. Whatever happens next uh, my fault. is officially my fault. Boss's fault. So now, each of us is gonna take half of this. Take your half of the goo. Spread it evenly, up and down, all across the land. And then, as is so often said in football, it's peaches time. <laughs> it's peaches time. <laughs> Welcome okay. back football fans, it's peach season. <laughs> as we all know, nothing says pig skin like peach skin. Oh, don't you wish Ugh. the football were fuzzy like a peach? <laughs> Ooh, that would be fun! Uh, peaches. Peaches. So, I'm gonna like try Whoa. to be super organized about it. Okay. Am I doing this right? Just layer, layer? I don't know. Yeah, probably. Layer, layer. I didn't read the direction. Right, right. <laughs> forgot. Listen, you, you, when you're cooking with for the boys, you do it off of instinct and gut. 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 We call this gut cooking. Welcome back to <laughs> gut cooking. <laughs> I'm your host, John Rocker. <laughs> I made a sports reference. <laughs> oh, look, look, this is this is a, an image of, of peachy perfection. Football. Oh, okay. I'm doing good work. I'm just on my phone. I mean, he's doing biz good business. I'm doing business. Whoa. Do, do that. You do that. <laughs> I need that. I can't. I know. Oh, I know. I can't let, let, me, let, me just, let me just finish real quick. All right. The big question is, do you want to put sugar on the outside of it? Yes. Okay. Yes, please. Yeah, cut those off and cut these guys off okay. at the bottom. They're worthless oh, to Hold us. On. Now we braid. You want to make sure, I, I scooted my guys up a little bit because we have to, first thing we're going to do is fold in the edges. So just sort of tuck everybody in a little bit. Fold up the, the ends as such. And now, righty lefty, pretty as a peanut. <laughs> or a peach, I guess, I don't know. And, <laughs> Pretty as a peanut. So, something so sad about that. Pretty, pretty as a 
as a peanut. <laughs> oh, but look at that. Like, it, it really comes together. Yeah. Pretty as a peanut. It's coming together kind of nasty at the bottom here. I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> I might have to oh, cut either. some of these yeah, yeah, a little bit. Probably. When you get down to the very end, some opportunities present themselves Yeah. for resolution. Yeah, just tuck it under. Just pretend it isn't there. <laughs> pretend it's not the truth. There we go. I wonder if we'll be able to tell whose is whose. But I think we each need our own tray. If you get my meaning. A wank wank. <laughs> we need our own trays. A wank wank. Hey, oh, nope, 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 nope. Just, just, just don't. No. Just say no. No. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. We should have done this on parchment. <laughs> I really don't know what to do. So when I picked it up, I was like, this is about to accordion apart. All right, so the biggest lesson takeaway here is to do this on parchment. Oh, sweet. Oh, oh. No. Maybe two of us on one, right? Yeah, 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 go, yeah. Get, get, grab my middle. Grab me by my middle. <laughs> Grab me by, by my, my middle. middle. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, uh, by my middle. Uh, I'll lift my middle. Oh. Okay. You want my? You want me middle? You or go so? middle this okay. time. Yeah. <laughs> it's only fair. All right, ready? Wait. Oh no, I'm so not. Oh. 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 Okay. Okay. Whoo! All right. Grab me by my middle. Grab me by my middle and call me Beverly. When washing a pastry, do not use soap and water. Instead, combine one egg yolk, one whole egg, and a pinch of salt in the tiny bowl, and whisk it up. You'll know your egg wash is ready when there's no streaks of white. Now it's time to do some painting. Smother this egg wash on your Kringle until it's all wet. Don't be afraid to sprinkle a little extra sugar on your Kringle. Live a little. You deserve it. Now bake these beautiful sweet treats in your convection oven at 375 degrees for around 30 minutes. You know what we did miss in episode one? What? What? Is you guys harmonizing. Oh. But we can't force it. Can't force it now, yeah. Uh, no, no. After 30 minutes, it's time to take your Kringle out of the burning hot oven. No sweet treat is complete without a little sweet cream glaze. This one is simple. Just throw a little milk into a bowl of powdered sugar and whisk it up. I didn't believe it either. Once it looks creamy and glazy, spread it all over your Kringle. And bone apple teeth. It's time to get sweet with your sweet friends. <laughs> this looks great. These, looks these, great. You know what these look like? They look like toaster strudels. They really do. It's a handsome pastry in there, you know? Yeah. It's peachy keen in there. Shall we? Cheers. Mm. Mm. Sorry. I love it. Just sound surprised, but that's <laughs> really <laughs> good. Mm. Mm. Oh my God, that's good. And the cinnamon you put in there my is a net positive addition. Mm. Like, it would not be the same without it. Mm -hmm. It's like a way better toaster strudel. Yeah. Do I have it in my beard? No, do I? Nice little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, it's gonna be like okay, this for yeah. a while. Mm. This maybe the simplest one we've ever done. It also might be the best. Like, yeah, this is so good. I loved the um, the pretzels and cheese and beer cheese. Right. That might have been my favorite. But this was so easy, and it looks frankly elegant. And you saw we just did it. We did it. I did a lot of it myself. He put the unedited footage straight up. <laughs> You've been watching for the last four or five hours. You've seen. <laughs> That I did this. Yeah, man. And you could too. You could do this. I'd love to see you try. I'd love to see you try too. Let, I, let's I have didn't even mean it how it sounds. Yeah, I would love to see you try. Post your, uh, what's this called? Uh, peaches and Cream Kringle. Peaches and Kringle. Kringle. Post your Peaches and Kringle with the hashtag um, Football Fusion Peaches and Kringle. Go Bills. Go Bills. <laughs> hey. Thank you hey, again. Man. Thank you. That was a lot Great of fun. Great work. Another hug? Ah. Yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna have done. Okay, I just don't want to stay in you. Uh, 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 uh.